All right, for our first real estate website of the week, I want to showcase the Jills. I've always loved this site, and our blog post talks about some of the things on here, but I just want to quickly touch on a few. Basically, the story with the Jills is that it's just got a really nice, clean design. It's about the properties. There's some stuff about them, and there's some social reinforcement here about the good things they do and uh, let's let me just touch on a few of these real quick you know first they've got a nice clean styling here when you above the fold it's about these properties you can quickly click here on their menu bar and take a look around they've got a nice uh, slider here some of these showcase homes these are listings that they have they've also broken down Right here, these are nice, these buttons to show different uh, developments, different things that are going on in the Miami area. This quick search ties into the IDX. Then we have this finest communities area where you can go visit each of these communities. It just takes time and a bunch of writing to write up all this material about all these communities. And so one of the biggest parts of setting up a great real estate website is to set up all the content. Now, um, you know, they've got a, a link here to their blog, they've got a little TV show, all this is just nicely stylized, it all matches, it all looks good, it's clean. Um, some information about them and how wonderful they are. A uh, little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A little uh, celebrity, thing here, you know, Shaquille O'Neal bought a house from these guys, and uh, as we scroll down the page, they just have some things here from their blog, they have a little feed here, talking about properties, talking about areas, you know, Fisher Island, Star Island, some of the things here mixed in with specific properties. I think one of the things I see a lot is a lot of agents will just focus on, you know, 93 Palm Avenue and their new listings and things like that. That's too boring for most people. We want to know about, you know, these neighborhoods. Look at this little blurps about all the neighborhoods. And so this helps them get some good Google juice. As you search everything, it's, you know, basically it's aqua, it's this charcoal gray, and it's white. And so their site's just really clean and really sharp. Um, let me just show you a couple things that I really like about this real quick. When you go to the communities, um, you know, they have all these communities here. You can search all of them, or they have specific ones. And uh, I'm just going to click on this one, for example. Again, all the photography is real sharp in this website. All the pictures of their properties are nice. They've taken some time to get some information here. And, you know, it's, hey, if I want to live in Ball Harbor here, I can get something for 439 or up to 25 million. There's rentals. Um, you know, it looks like most of it's resale. So they're just taking some time to keep all this up. What things are going for? Here's a whole bunch of content. And as you look at this, Ball Harbor, this, Bay Harbor, Ball Harbor, Ball Harbor, you're going to get a lot of Google juice for all this nice stuff. They've laid out the homes here. These are their, what I call their uh, featured homes. But they've laid these out instead of by price, which we often do, to when you're doing luxury homes, you don't want to really show things necessarily by price because that in, uh, infers some price sensitivity on the client's part. But they put these by how many bedrooms, and all of them have these. So a little map um, and some information here. So. When you click on one of these properties, I'm going to just do a click through on, on this one here in Collins. Again, everything's got great imagery. Does take a minute here to load. But they've got some, some good images. Well, that one didn't, but most of them do. So the condominiums, they've done basically the same thing with the condominiums. So they've got all these condominium communities here. And I'm honestly just not that familiar with uh, Miami, so I don't 
yeah, I don't know where any of these places are, or just how wonderful they really are, but you know, the 1800 Club looks pretty slick. So you click on it, some other properties that are nearby in the area, pictures of 1800 Club, amenities, resident features, floor plans. I mean, they've got the whole thing here. Anything you want to know about 1800 Club, they've got it. Um, again, there's some units there, some information about those units. So on their quick search, I just wanted to touch on that. They have a uh, oops, select property type. One of the things I thought was pretty slick about this is their bottom price is 300. They don't really get into min maximum and all that stuff. It's like, hey, you know, if you want a, a price, and so anything from 300 up, you know, it shows 100 million dollar properties, which is their top. But if I put here 300,000 as the low, and I put all prices as, or I'm sorry, 300 as the high and 300 as the low. And I'm basically get all the 300,000. You can't find a property on this site for under 300,000. So I think they've stuck with their niche. Um, they've just done a lot, pretty much everything that's really good. And another thing I really liked about them is that they have a nice, uh, they have a nice newsletter too that that matches the look of their of their website. So that's the first website of the week, thejills.com. And if you have any questions, check us out at Realty Candy.